What is up, YouTube? It is your boy Streezy. I'm back with another video. Uh, sorry for the lack of guides and videos, guys. I've been streaming quite often here lately. Um, I'm going to get back to making videos, of course. Uh, YouTube, you guys are my first family. Uh, you guys have shown me so much support, and I appreciate that. But I'm not going anywhere, so I'm just uploading the streams I have from Twitch, and I'm putting them, you know, right here on YouTube so you guys can enjoy to watch them. But, but we're going to be taking a look at this Red Dead Blood Money DLC. I hear so many people talk trash about this DLC, and I mean, I understand some of the reasoning, but you know, it's like the the the, the complaints. It's like I don't know. It's just some people just take it too far and like just need to learn to, you know, just stop complaining so much. It's okay. Like it it really is okay. Like. Go play other games. That's that's what I tell people all the time. Even in the crew, I tell them to go play other games. If you don't like the content, don't play the game. You know what I'm saying? But I do understand the criticism. I, I do. I really do. But, you know, wishing cancer on Rockstar and stuff, that's not the way to go. But, you know, I'm not going to get into all that, you know. Because, you know me, I don't I do not do rant videos and all that nonsense. To me, I think that's I think that all that stuff's pointless. But... But yeah, I, I can see the criticism. Th these are basically just glorified story missions, or stranger missions, rather, um, slash telegram missions, but we're going to take a little dive in it. It's not going to take super long either, because there's not really much to talk about. But uh, yeah, we're going to just uh, check this out, and uh, let's get started with the video. So when you first boot up Red Dead Online, just like any other DLC, you're going to, you know, you're going to see something on the map, a big old gold blip. Uh, you're going to go down to St. Denis, talk to the guy. Um, he's going to tell you about the whole blood money situation. and You're going to watch a bunch of cutscenes, which is pretty cool. But And then you're just going to go around the map, basically, and talk to the strangers around the map. And they're going to give you a list of, uh, you know, a list of missions. I will go ahead and show you that right now, guys. Now, all these guys are, you know, the strangers, they're just located all around the map in random places, so... You'll have a little blood, uh, like a little blood splatter type um, icon on the map. But as you can see right here, you got stagecoach stickups. Uh, let's see, clearing the house, a Jeb contract. Now some of these are three-part series. It's almost like uh, little miniature heists, uh, or at least in my opinion, uh, kind of like GT Online in a way with the new Tuners DLC. I will have an, uh, a guide and review for that coming up shortly. Uh, but as you can see right here, they have these little uh, these little tickets called Capitale. You have to collect these in order to do the big, you know, the big opportunity missions, which is basically a heist. Uh, you actually get paid really good if if you go from normal to hard to ruthless. You know, the the reward increases. So it's these missions are actually a lot of fun once you get into the DLC. But I can understand why people have criticism because it's not really the quality of the the missions, it's really more the quantity. There's really not a lot. So it's basically these missions and an outlaw pass. That's it. That's all it is. Like, And then there's a couple of free roam things they added. Uh, homestead, free roam robberies, and you can like rob camps and stuff. But I haven't run across any of that yet, me personally. Um, but... Uh, I don't even know anybody that has, so I don't know if that's going to be drip feed. And that's another thing, too. There's going to be drip feed more content coming. So, as you can see right here, Covington Emerald, they're going to add more missions. Uh, it's a four-part series. They're coming out with an outlaw pass every quarter or something like that. Um, but there's 100 in total, but 25 per, you know, per little drip feed uh, event, I guess you could say. But as you can see, I got plenty of uh, capital. But here's another stranger. He basically gives you the same thing. Uh, there's no real difference. Uh, I have played these on hard. I haven't played on ruthless. It's almost you got to have a crew with you to do it on ruthless. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the payout right quick on the hard, and you know you can see for yourself how much money you really make. Here's a little run through right quick. I'm going to show you what the mission's like. Going to speed this up so the video is not super long. But as you can see, it's it's basically uh, this this is the actual opportunity mission. You have to do the 
the other little missions to get capital. Once you get enough capital, I think the maximum's like 25. So as long as you got 25 capital, you'll be fine. Uh, but that's how you get to the Covington Emerald mission. This is it right here. As you can see, I just broke that guy out of prison. Uh, like I said, I'm just speeding this up for, uh, you know, time purposes, but yeah, this, this, this is all it really is, guys. There's supposed to be two more huge opportunity missions you're supposed to get. It's, um, I think it's like a rule, a uh, ruby and like a jewel or something, but they're supposed to be coming on later on. I don't know exactly when, you know, Rockstar don't really <laughs> communicate. They're not very good at that. Uh, but yeah, the, the, these missions are not that bad. I don't, I mean, I understand some of the criticism, but some of the criticism, I do, they're they're fun missions. That and you got train robberies, like people wanted, you know. So it's not in free roam, of course, but you do have a train robbery. This is what it is. It's a train robbery. You're going on here, and you're still in a jewel. So I mean, but at the same time, you know, like I said, if it's all subjective, obviously, I actually enjoy this DLC. But it's it's not something you're going to be invested in for a long time. As you can see right there, I just grabbed the jewel. Uh, but, yeah, it's it's really not that bad, guys. It's not as bad as people turn it out to be, in my personal opinion. Uh, there's just not enough. That's To me, I think that's the biggest concern. I think I can speak for a lot of people. Like I said, it's not the quality, it's the quantity. It's I literally did this whole DLC in one day. That's That's how short it is. It's literally like maybe four hours long. I've I've done everything in four hours. I maxed out my outlaw pass and everything. It's it's uh it's quite short to be uh to be quite fair. So to wrap this part up, here is the end of the mission. Like I said, once you get enough capital, uh up to twenty five, that's on ruthless. I think easy or normal is fifteen, so as long as you got at least that much, you should be fine. And a lot of the stuff you can actually get from the Outlaw Pass. I will show you that here in a second, the new Outlaw Pass. All right, as you can see right here, it's, what, 0.32 gold, I think it said. And here, for some reason, the cash didn't show up till right here at the end. So 718 XP and 148.12, so not too bad. Now here's a take a look at our out, our new outlaw pass here. This one's actually pretty good in my opinion. As you can see, we got the roll XP, the select revolvers. You know, you got your normal stuff, uh, emotes. There's the uh, that's the Dutch Vanderlyn uh, outfit right here, the red cuff. So if you like Dutch's outfit, there it is. So yeah, as you can see, you get 25 capital in the uh, you know the outlaw pass. Uh, as you can see, wilderness camp, ticket, and all this other stuff. Pam pamphlets, of course. Of course, I can't get no more pamphlets. I bought everything in the game. So you got these new belt buckles, which is, looks pretty cool. Uh, your gold, you get all your gold back, guys. So know that going forward. When you spend, you know, when you buy the Outlaw Pass, you get all your gold back. So no worries there. You know, a lot of people were pissed off last time about that, but... Uh, you had to log in at a certain time to, uh, you know, get the gold or whatever. As you can see, it's, it, it's basically your normal stuff, but I'm just glad they didn't add, like, silly beards and mustaches for your horse. So, <laughs> yeah, it's only 25, though, guys, so it's not too bad. So, that's that's pretty much the DLC, guys. Um, what I think overall, I think it's not a bad DLC. It's it's not near as bad as people turn it out to be. It's to me, like I said, it's just very short. Uh, you will run out of things to do pretty quickly. Uh, of course, until they add more content. Now GTA has really blown the doors off with this D with their DLC. I will cover that in another video. Hope you guys stick. That's going to be a longer video because there's so much content. Um, yeah, just I just wish Rockstar would give. Red Dead as much love as it does G. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining. I'm not ranting. Trust me, I'm not. I, I'm I'm enjoying this DLC, but I just I just hope in the future, you know, Rockstar will show Red Dead just as much love as GTA. But I know it's not a money maker like GTA. But also, guys, I wanted to touch on uh, if you buy all the Outlaw passes with this little DLC, like the. 25 outlaw pass rank here and then the next one and then the next one and then the next one you actually get the halloween pass for free so make sure you guys do that 
uh, especially if you got enough gold. Make sure you guys grind that gold too. Do them daily objectives. Do do these activities. Uh, like switch it up. Like put these activities in with stranger missions and with bounties. You can make some pretty good amount of money. It's it's just another it's just another thing to add to the game. That's why I'm not too much complaining about it because it's just more activities to do. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's really not it's it's really not that bad if you just enjoy the game. Like I said, in Rockstar they are always adding content. You don't have to pay a cent for any of this. So yeah, guys, you really don't have anything to lose unless you you know spent real gold on the game. But if you do, I mean that's your prerogative. You know, I'm not hating, but. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Overall, it's not a bad DLC. It's just it's just short. That's 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 it. That's all it is. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you like videos like this. And stay tuned for the next one. All right, everyone, take care. Peace.